the second part of our exclusive interview with the New York City Police Commissioner. We get further unprecedented access to learn more about the man behind the badge, heading up the largest police department in the country, the personal side of James O'Neill. That's the Chelsea bombing. What a day to start yeah. a new job. Yeah, yeah. Didn't really get a chance to breathe. September 17, 2016, the Chelsea terrorist bombing. It was James O'Neill's first day on the job as police commissioner, and he quickly learned the seriousness of his role. You really understand immediately how important this job is. A job that has him up at 4.45 in the morning and walking through the doors of one police plaza by 5.30. Hey, John. Commissioner O'Neill is a plain-spoken guy with Irish roots who started out as a traffic cop and whose humble beginnings never left him. This is the original shield. When you're in the commissioner's office, it doesn't take one long to realize what's important to him. Family. So these are your sons here? Yep, yeah, that's uh, Danny and Christopher. His 87-year-old mother, Helen. My mom painted those. She continues to paint. Whose influence on O'Neill is undeniable. She told us all growing up, you know, it's not about you. It's about uh, helping other people. And remembering the fallen heroes of the NYPD. You know, they say time heal, heals all wounds, but not in this case. And the everlasting bond he's made with some of their families. So help me God. You did it. O'Neill was sworn in as commissioner, with his mother by his side receiving a standing ovation. But she wasn't always supportive of the top cop. For a fact, she didn't speak to me for almost a year. She was, she was that furious with me. With what little free time O'Neill does have, he's either cruising on his motorcycle or the diehard Rangers fan... New York Rangers. ...is suiting up... Yeah. ...and hitting the ice. Here, number 34 is just another hockey player. There is no rank in the ring. When we're playing, we just call him Jimmy. Just treat him like everyone else. And that's exactly the way O'Neill likes it. Sometimes as a commissioner, people are hesitant to, to speak with you. But you know, when you're playing hockey, not so much. It's fun. He's been playing with some of these guys, all NYPD cops, for more than a decade. So you guys are getting aggressive out there. No, no, <laughs> no. No, as you see, 10 years ago, this is nothing. Sometimes you just kick yourself say, wow, I'm playing with the commissioner. But he's just one of the guys. Morning, everyone. Long before reaching the heights of police commissioner, life started here on this quiet, modest street in Flatbush, Brooklyn. This is it. This is actually the house that uh, I grew up in. It brings back a lot of great memories. The Donahue's, the Donovan's, the McIntyre's, the Kazikis. Growing up in a working class, tight-knit Irish Catholic family, where his mother ruled the roost and church on Sundays was a must. So that was my parents' bedroom. That was one of my sisters, and mine was in the back on the left. All we did was play outside here. There's a sewer plate that used to be home plate when we used to play stickball. Being the middle child, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle, but early on O'Neill figured out how to blaze his own trail, and he's been doing it ever since. What do you want to leave behind? Uh, I'm, I'm not a big legacy person. When I walk out the door, if I leave this city in, in a safer place than when I came here, then I'll be happy. Then I'll be happy. And the commissioner tells me he is a long way off from retiring and he has no interest in getting into politics. And one of his goals when he does retire is to ride his motorcycle across the country.